So what is going on guys? Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you what are the best lead sources in 2024 if you're a life insurance agent. Now, I'm gonna share with you the leads that I've used in the past that has helped me sell hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of final expense on my own pen. I'm also gonna share with you a look into what we use here inside of our agency that help us and our agents become successful as well. Uh, but most importantly, I make this video because I wanna share with you a story. When I first got started as a life insurance agent, I remember going on these Zoom meetings from leaders that I respected that had the big deal, they sold their life insurance business and made all this money selling life insurance. And I would always ask them, what are the best leads? For me, I gave up everything to be a life insurance agent and they told me to buy these old three month old age leads. I invested thousands of dollars struggling, selling one policy a week, waking up in the morning, battling these leads, getting hung up on. They kept on telling me, buy these dang old age leads. And finally, I just stopped listening to them. Finally, I realized that I need to take some control of my business and I just start looking elsewhere. And the minute that I did that, I actually started selling more life insurance and started making some money selling life insurance in the business. And I make this video because I just wanna hopefully help you guys and be honest with you because I was lied for many months about buying these old leads. Come to find out that they were personally invested in the company, completely okay with lying to me. And if you're being lied to right now as an agent, I want that to end. I want you to know that there are better ways to generate leads, there are better ways to make money selling life insurance, and this is the video that's gonna help you guys get there. So what I wanna share with you is the best lead sources for 2024 if you're a life insurance agent. So I wanna share with you all the lead sources I use. The first lead source that I use that I would say run away from that wasted I wasted $7,000 on a course to generate leads was through a VSL lead, okay? So I probably, like you, have been targeted by some guy on the internet who tells you that I can get you all the generate leads, high quality, they're gonna watch a video, they're gonna fill out the form, and you can take control of your, you know, of your life insurance agency. Well, I bought that course. That course was a waste of months, of time, and money and resources. So one of the worst leads when you're selling final expense is not a someone who watches a video for six minutes, goes to a form, books a call on your calendar. That was one of the worst ideas that I ever did and money that I wish I could get back. And the reason is final expense, if you're doing telesales, people don't have time like that, especially for a product like this. You know, final expense, life insurance sales, these people are typically um, short on time, irresponsible, so I was, Basically betting on them, booking on my calendar because I wanted to sit back and wanted to make all this money and that was not the case. The second thing is that I paid for, the second bad lead that I bought was a paid for um, booked appointments through one of the largest guys, I don't I don't want to name drop here, but I've just been screwed by people that we look up to in the industry who told me that, um, you know, we're going to have people that are going to book on your calendar, you're going to have uh, six appointments every day and it was $2,000 for a week I got that. I was like, okay, cool, let's let's spend the two grand if this is what you promise. Final expense, cool. They're going to be waiting for me, let's do it. My dumb, dumb self bought it and then realized that no one showed up. I asked for a refund, they never did. So pre-appointment or pre-set appointments for final expense is not something I would ever do again. If someone tells you I'm gonna have appointments booked for you, go for it and do it. They don't They don't wanna do it. Most people are lazy, most people procrastinate, and most people in telesales, whatever you're selling, final expense or whole life, aren't gonna show up. So first thing was VSL leads. Second thing was these pre-booked appointment leads that were terrible. Um, the third lead that is really, really bad, that really spent so much money, I wish I could get the seven, the 10, the $12,000, were these old, three month, six month old leads. Now come to find out now, I realize that I'm not even compliant. I'm not even able to sell anything over or call people over 90 days yet. I was told for the longest time, go to this three letter IMO shared lead store and spend all your money there. You're gonna make all this money. And I got hung up on for so many months. I realized, you know, people were yelling at me, cussing at me. These shared leads were just being resold and resold and resold and I as the agent, was you know the reason that all these this insurance company was making the money because I was buying them. So these old three day scrape data leads where people have no idea what you're calling about are bad leads. Um, you can make some money. I was told like I, I made a few sales, but I never profit. I never had a positive acquisition cost, but I was told to continue to buy them. So if you're calling right now anything over three to six months old, you should be careful. Like number one, compliance is a huge thing, and and secondly. You're not calling someone who actually filled out a form who's actively looking for life insurance. You're not looking for someone who actually wants what you're selling, okay? And the goal here is not to have a bait and switch lead, okay? The goal here is to actually sell someone, what has helped me in my business, sell someone, someone, someone who has a current problem who wants their problem solved. Now, another lead that I would totally avoid and, and I see people come to me and ask me, what type of leads do you rock? Like, I'm like, what do you do? He's like, oh, well, we go in here, we have a, a, a some type of kit, we'll get on a, a call, a Zoom call, and then we'll bait and switch. Now, 
for me, ethically, I, I would just never do that. I would never create an ad where I'm saying I'm going to give you away something for free, get you on a Zoom meeting, and then switch the product around and sell you life insurance. That right there would not be a way that I would build a sustainable business by lying to people. Okay, so if you're calling leads and bait and switch, you're not wondering why am I not getting results? Why am I not making the money? It's probably because you're selling a bait and switch lead. Okay. There was no way that you could sleep good at night knowing that I'm going to go onto a Zoom call, I'm going to treat someone like I love them, I'm going to give them something for free, and then I'm going to sell them a product, and I'm going to win at night. That is not what you want to do. So if you have a bait and switch lead, I would totally run. The next lead that I would totally run from, and I wish this was talked about more, was are these overseas, Pakistan, you know, Middle East people that are going to be transferring leads to you. I did that at first. Remember, my, I sold three people back to back. I had these people on, on Facebook Messenger that were messaging me saying, hey, Peter, I have the best leads. You know, I'm going to give you a 60 second buffer. I'm going to call these leads and we're going to transfer them to you. I'm like, okay, I ain't spending the money. I don't believe it. It sounds too good to be true. I'm going to transfer them to you. I was like, okay, let's do it. So I sold three people. The next day I sold these people. I'm like, hey, Mr. Jimmy, like I'm going to go ahead and your life insurance is going to be starting in a few days. I want to make sure that you're taken care of. These people had no idea. After I sold them, I wrapped them up, sent them their policy information. They're like, why are you calling? And I realized I had to cancel those policies. I'm just being honest here with you. Whatever their screening process is was unethical. Um, you know, I feel like I sold people who don't even remember they had life insurance that were just kind of just being manipulated, and I made a mistake. And I made I, I was con concerned because I was told that these people are qualified, that they you know have the right medical questions. I would take them through the application, and then at the end I was like I was just like something wasn't adding up. I had this gut feeling like these transfers were not not legit. So those live transfers overseas, don't do them. Like number one, these people are being taken advantage of these old seniors who can listen to someone who is overseas, who has a thick accent and is gonna buy life insurance from you. It just doesn't add up. Like a normal citizen or a human would be like, this is sound sketchy. I have someone who can barely speak English. Now I'm getting transferred again. Like it doesn't make sense. So those overseas live transfers were, were no bueno. Uh, the next lead that I've generated that's been best help, most helpful for us and my agency that really helped spark some actual life and growth in, in our agency and my personal production and helped me sell $500,000 my first year was actually generating uh, my own leads on social media. Okay, I can give you the platforms. These all platforms work, guys. It's not about the platform. It's either Facebook or it's YouTube or it's TikTok or it's Google on social media. Wherever the eyeballs are, that's cool. But I want to share with you, be careful here. Because at first, I would buy shared leads from these platforms. I would go to TikTok, find TikTok shared leads, and I would be the shared lead guy. I would buy leads that I could generate for, you know, let's say five bucks. I was buying them for $30. Like I was spending so much money, wasted so much money on shared leads. And then I realized too that the offer of these shared leads that I was buying from these vendors were just, you know, after I could like actually understand what, what like after enough conversations and enough hangups and enough people yelling at me, that there was some type of like free offer that was happening, that most people were either giving away something from the government that is free life insurance or a reduced life insurance program approved by the state or some type of government issued program for seniors over 65 that are now able to get approved for this whole life insurance programs. And I would, I'm telling you, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, I bought them all and I realized that no matter what, I was tired of lying to people. I made some sales, I got some people, I had to sell them hard, but it wasn't sustainable. So what if you're generating a great lead? One of my favorite leads is, you know, on one of those social media platforms is generating a high quality lead. And a high quality lead would be something with intent. Intent with, there's a clear name of they're gonna leave their money behind you. There's a clear need of how much life insurance they want. It's a clear need of how much coverage, you know, they're looking to leave behind to a specific person, a beneficiary, a favorite color, a favorite hobby. And a high quality lead like that is my favorite lead. A lead where they either go through a form and leave their information or they go through a qualification process where it's basically a landing page where they fill out their favorite color or their favorite hobby or their you know you know their most recent childhood memory and you can capture that data because there's people there's buyers on all these internet where the eyeballs are you can create leads whether it's YouTube it's TikTok it's Facebook it's MySpace six years ago it's the new social media that comes out you can generate a great lead there but as long as the offer is great as long as the data that they capture is valid and helpful you can have great success selling life insurance and that's really what I've been focusing on and what we focus on is making sure that you're not lying to people and generating a lead where people actually need the life insurance. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that here in advice that can help you make more money when it comes to lead generation, but I also want to share with you a very strong and powerful um, lead source that I love that I would look for in 2024, and that would be someone who is generating inbound live transfers. Inbound live transfers means someone who um, 
basically has a TV ad or has an ad that runs on social media and people are, you know, calling in. So they see the video, they see the form, they see what the offer is and they call in and it comes directly right to you. An inbound live transfer off of an offer is a very strong, powerful marketing tool that can help you get a lot of high quality leads. They're one of my favorite lead sources in 2024. Now, and also another great inbound lead source for you is a in-home or self-generated live transfer. So one thing that would be helpful and one thing that I did when I first got started and one thing that you can do when you first get started is have someone who's training under you take old leads, 30 to 60 old leads that you've generated, that you have that you have that are quality leads, that have quality data, and you can have them pick up the phone and call these leads for you. So when they get them on the phone, guess what they can do? They can then transfer them to you, okay? So you can do the inbound from a TV ad that takes a lot of marketing skills, that takes having an IMO or a company that works with that has very powerful data, or you can go out there and do an inbound in-house system where we can actually generate them ourselves by having new agents who are training, call leads, and then transfer them to you. So the inbound data is very important. Now, with all the leads, no matter what you try, uh, I would avoid those shared leads. I've tried lead, lead I've tried um, you know going out there and, and and building my own lead source. But the one lead that really saved me at first in my business was SEO leads. When I first got started, I was calling those bad leads. But I connected with a lead vendor called Smart Financial. I don't use them anymore. I don't recommend them. The leads are too expensive. I'm not shouting a company out. Being honest with you guys, is that they are SEO leads. So they would have like people would go to Google, look up life insurance, they'd click on an ad, and then it would be a shared lead that would come. Me, but it was a high intent Google search lead that really changed my business. Remember, Miss Barbara was my first client. I remember I, I spent a thousand dollars. I'm like, I'm gonna try these SEO leads. I'm tired of these calling these three month old leads that they're promising. These are BS. I drive home, I spend a thousand bucks. My first phone call, Bar Barbara W. She picked up, I sold her and her husband, George. I was like, this is insane. All because the leads were higher intent, they knew exactly what they were looking for, and ultimately, um, they, they actually had a clear need. So what I wanna share with you is the advice. So whatever lead source, whatever you guys are doing right now, how do you know if a lead is good? A lead is good because it has good information, like I was talking about earlier, but ultimately your best leads, the most successful leads that you wanna use in 2024 are leads where you can acquire a client, where you can uh, acquire a new you know, client at a profit. And I think this is overlooked. A lot of people say, oh, I'm using live transfers only. I'm sitting there, my phone's ringing, but my acquisition cost is $700. I'm like, okay, and how much are you actually making? 800. I'm like, you're doing all that work for a hundred dollar profit. Acquisition cost is the most important thing that you need to track. Well, if you're buying shared leads, if you're buying leads from Happy Agent or a lead share, you know, a Facebook lead vendor or a YouTube lead vendor or a TikTok lead vendor, what is your acquisition cost? And when you can understand how to profitably acquire a client with whatever the skills that you have and your ability to sell, you can make money selling life insurance. But the mo biggest problem is, oh, I, 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 I made my self-generated lead and you know, I, I, I've closed 3,000 of AP. You're gonna, you're gonna put it on your Instagram story, you're gonna put it on your all your social media, but none of those policies went through. It doesn't matter. The goal is to make money in the business. The goal is to actually make money. And for the longest time, I lied, I lied to myself. So I would sell all these shared leads and I would buy and I would buy all these thousands of dollars worth of data, but then to come down after my placement rate and after my net effective close, I was actually acquiring a client at three, four hundred dollars, not thirty-five dollars like I was seeing because I was getting someone approved. So know this is the biggest advice for you as you get started. The goal is to make money, the goal is to actually build a profitable business, not to just have a great lead source to submit business. Okay. The last thing I want to share with you is um, the new change, the FCC is cracking down June of next of this year. There's no more shared data. There's no scraping more data. So make sure you're positioned well. This is my warning. Uh, the change is coming. So make sure that you're positioned well in the marketplace for this shift or you are going to get hurt. IMOs are scrambling. No more shared leads. No more shared data are going to be closed. No more live transfers that are being generated overseas. So make sure that your company that you're working with is prepared well because leads are the lifeline of the business. And if you have leads, if you have a company that has great leads, you can make this business work. So here are being honest, the best leads for 2024 as a life insurance agent. I wish I saw this video when I got started. I am so upset. I took the advice from people who were lying to my face on Zoom. I'm like, hey, if you had to feed your family, what leads would you buy? I'd buy these three month old leads. They told me, they told me this. But come to find out one of the worst leads you can buy in the business. Here are my favorite leads for 2024 and here's how you can make money. I love you guys. I hope this video helps you make more money in today's Economy, there's so much opportunity. And if I can do anything for you, please let me know. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Cheers. Peace out. Bye.